Hi, I'm Toby from AbletonDrama.com and I quickly want to show you how you can change Ableton Live's BPM via an electronic drum pad or any other MIDI controller sending MIDI notes. So it's easy to set up. You won't need Ableton Live 11 for that. It will work in Ableton 10, but you would need Max for Live, which is actually included in uh, Ableton Live Suite. Okay, so um, let's have a look on the device in the computer. So um, I got two devices already here, just use one for now. So you just have a plus and minus button, which will obviously add or put the BPM down in the values you put in here. You can automate those values as well if you need to, if you want to. And the beauty here is um, you can MIDI map those buttons here to um, a MIDI controller or an electronic drum pad. And I went a step further. I added those direct note inputs here, which means um, if you just press S and if MIDI is routed right into um, this track, you can just hit the pad and it will recognize which MIDI pitch note you are sending and it's mapped already. And then you can save this device now as a preset and you can always pull it up. And this is something you can't do with a native MIDI map function in Ableton Live. Okay, so um, the beauty here is I can just play now some music. I can play, play, play like I just did before and then go faster. Yeah, and it monitors the master BPM in the device in itself and maybe it's a little bit too fast and maybe I want to have a second device here which will just go up and down one BPM so this side is up so going up five BPMs going down five BPMs and then going up one BPM going down one BPM so this way you can stay in the flow while you're playing and just use this to like find the right tempo maybe on a gig especially maybe on the gig where you feel like well it needs a little bit more energy i just want to add sometimes like two to three bpm because the crowd is like going wild and you feel like ah, ah, i want to push this so you can just have a pad you can put some labels on it and just know okay going up or going down with um, this pad is possible this device is part of my Tempo Max for Life collection, which includes seven devices all about tempo control for Ableton Live. I wrote a guide on tempo and the new tempo follower feature in Ableton 11 as well. This guide is for free. Just follow the links in the video descriptions to get those.